Okay, here's a problem under Windows related to memory. Let's use File Explorer. And if I go to this PC, right click on this PC and go to Properties. Then here on this window, we can see that I'm using a 64-bit operating system. And all the 64-bit operating systems should recognize all the memory. We can see that out of 8 gigabytes of memory, only 7 7 gigabytes is usable. Let's see how to fix this problem. Let's minimize these windows and let's look at the following fact. I'm using this motherboard. It's an SROC N68CS UCC and this motherboard has an onboard graphics output also. That's a VGA output. And that one is also connected to the computer. The computer has also a dedicated graphics card, which is visible here at display adapters. So this is the onboard graphics card, which is currently set active. And that's the dedicated graphics card. And that one is not currently used. So the monitor is connected to this video card and it's connected to this one also but in BIOS this one is set as default and thus this one is allocating some memory from the motherboard and that's why we get this message that out of 8 gigabytes of memory only 7.7 .7 are usable okay so let's restart this computer restart and I will enter BIOS using the delete key on the keyboard delete so keep on pressing the delete key okay entering setup was displayed okay now using the arrow keys on the keyboard let's go up here to uh, the advanced tab right right and down here chipset configuration simply press enter on chipset configuration okay and here we have primary graphics adapter and it's set to onboard. Press enter on this one and set it to PCI Express. That's the Radeon dedicated graphics card. Okay, PCI Express, that's the primary graphics adapter. Now press F10 on the keyboard to save the changes. F10, save configuration and exit. Okay, press enter. Now the computer will restart and instead of the onboard graphics card which is on the motherboard instead of that it will use the dedicated graphics card which is inserted into a PCI Express slot. We have to wait until BIOS is reconfiguring itself and the computer will start after that. Input HDMI and voila. I press enter to start the same operating system. Windows 10 is starting. Okay, and let's go back to File Explorer. File Explorer, then right click this PC and go to Properties. And here you can see that I'm using the same Windows 10, Windows 10 Home Edition, and out of 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes are usable, so the limitation is not present anymore and it's a 64-bit Windows. Okay, that's how to solve the memory problem under a 64-bit operating system by disabling the onboard graphics card and enabling the dedicated graphics card. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. And another thing here in Device Manager and Display Adapters here we can see that since the onboard graphics card is disabled, only the dedicated graphics card is shown here at display adapters.